Global time is exactly 4 a.m. And uh, Pastor Atuakwa is on your radio with joy time in his presence. Uh, PKF, my daughter Susanna Inkum Kwaku is four years. The Lord bless your daughter. The Lord favor your daughter. Uh, this morning, Apostle... Oh, Pastor Mike. Okay, Apostle Duke Duncan. Kwesi Bru Minda. Will be ministering on Joy Time His Presence with Bishop Mike Niabusi. Okay. All right. That was Bishop Mike here yesterday. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you. I love you all. And I'm going to catch up on you. See you at Kingdom Temple. Aplaku Hills. Apostle. Edward Wright. As over me by me, but I'm bringing some, 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 some dangerous, dangerous, uh, powerful, powerful angels. Over an eternal of your own. Good job. birthday to Sabina Mensa. The Lord bless you, Sabina, as well. Thank you so much. Just go over the message. Meditate on it. Ponder over it. The Holy Spirit will even show you things I didn't see. That is the depths of the Spirit of God. Okay, so meditate on it. Build your faith. Okay. Thank you so much. I love you all. And I'm out of here. God bless you.
hands to God and just bless him with spirit. The secret is just to be intentional. Close your eyes and call him those names. Come on, call him that name as loud as you can. I can't hear you. Call him that name. Baby is singing. 
For the great things he has done. 
and greater things he will do. God is good. And I'm sure you can shout all the time. The eternal Father alone deserves the praise and the honor this morning. Twenty seventh. So we be today twenty seventh. I guess uh, we can just quickly check today twenty seventh. On the seventh day of September in the year of our Lord 2023. And it's the day that the Lord has made, and you and I ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Anytime I wake up in the morning, I speak Lord, speak Lord. I'm reminded by Psalm 103. Psalm 103 is also crucial. <laughs> You know why I love it? Because it has almost it has all the ingredients. Psalm 103 has all the ingredients. Praise God Almighty. I bless God for your life wherever you find yourself this morning doing the listening. God bless you. I want to welcome all of you who are joining second service. Because you were here for the first service at, um, we, you know, with AOV. Pastor Kojo Frimpon, say a great God bless you to him this morning. For being a blessing to the... Sylvia, were you here in the first service? Who else was here in the first service? I'd like to know. Psalm 103 is very, very crucial. It says that, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Do you know what I want you to do for me? I know how to say this in God, but I want, I want, I want the, I want to say it in Chi as well, or in Akan. I also want to say it in Evan. So you have to help me with those two. Is that okay? Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. The God renders it this way. Jemo Yehoa Yemisu Suma. Hallelujah. If you are if you are if you are a God, this this is the sweetest. This is my sweetest, you know, if you like, my sweetest scripture in God. Oh, this is a song I want to play much, much, much later on. But right now, can I just play Dr. Toomey's, um, Dr. Toomey's, I'm nothing without you. Thank you, Father. That's, yeah. Yeah. If it had not been mm-hmm. for the Lord. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, it's always um, on my side. The energy. Give to Shandov. Were you in the first service? Hey, somebody's somebody's saying the thing. Also, they, they have to say, okay, I, I I know I can't listen to it when you send it to me via um, you know via WhatsApp and voice notes. I really can't listen to it right now. The way the studio is configured, we can't, we have to just listen to it somewhere else and then come and put it in the system for us to hear. So just money to write it. I'll money to read it. <laughs> to God be the glory. God bless all of you for coming. Who is here to magnify the Lord with me? He says, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, 
and all that is within me bless his holy name I can imagine my colons I can imagine my heart I can imagine my liver I can imagine my my uh, my pancreas I can re- I can imagine the the, the the big the big intestines and the small intestines I, I can imagine all man my brains everything ev- everything that is within inside of me that actually makes me me <laughs> is commanded to bless the name of the Lord bless his holy name In you I live and move and have my being. Nothing without you. God bless Justina, you were in the first service. To God be the glory for your life. May you have a double portion. I said, may you have a double portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever blessing the Lord has today. May he shower you with a double portion. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The day you're welcome, please show me your thumb and your hands. If you're ready to magnify the Lord with me this morning. You are just joining us to God be the glory as well. I bless God for your life. Felix Samekuji, may God bless you for coming. Good morning, I was part of the first service. He- Eric is in Hawaii. I hear you, Eric. May you also receive a double portion. Oh, by our way, you here? No, I, I guess. I guess you're not joining me. Jane is also joining me. Who said I was here for first, second service? Okay, you're here for second service, yes. Frederica Saponma. Margaret Asari. Abukuma, were you here for the first service? Kimberly, to God be the glory for your life this morning. I am glad to connect with you this morning. Harriet Didi, are you? You were also here for the first service. Wow. I have been here since, since. <laughs> May the Lord grant you the, the portions of today's blessing. A double portion in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Every moment spent in the presence of the Lord makes you better. Every moment spent in the presence of the Lord makes you better. And therefore, may your bettering be double portions in the name of the Lord Jesus. I bless God for your life once you're joining us this morning. Can we just join our hearts together? join our hands together and declare to our souls and everything that is within us to bless the name of the Lord. As his word says in Psalm 103 and verse 1, he says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Now, the verse 2 is what actually completes it. He says that, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The benefits are much more than we can ever imagine. The benefits are much more than we can ever think about. The benefits are much more. And that is why this morning, you want to bless the name of the Lord. I know that some of the benefits are here Feelings that 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 medications could not take care of. I know that I know that the benefits, some of the benefits, are elevations that man that will blow the minds of men. I know that some of the benefits are, are, are amazing doors that are going to be opened. I know some of the benefits are mighty financial blessings. I know some of the benefits. My God, my God, my God. I know some of the benefits are, are, are the are, are the solving or the the solutions to you know chronic family problems and and so on i know some of the solutions or some of the blessings and the benefits are, are the winning of the court cases that have been lingering on for so many years i know that some of the some of the benefits are going to be for somebody whose contract documents are going to be signed and okayed for you to even receive what is your portion in the mighty name of the there are benefits there are benefits the bible say he 
daily loads us with benefits. And this morning, the, the songwriter is telling you and me, he says that, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power. You shall remember the Lord your God. This morning, I invite you to remember the Lord your God and not just open your mouth to appreciate him. Command your soul to bless the Lord. Command all that is within you to bless the Lord. I have a revelation about all that is within me to bless the Lord. You know something? Bless also means praise. And praise actually comes with, with energetic action. <laughs> praise comes with joyful action. And I'm thinking about how can I praise when, when, when my heart is sick? It can't praise. So this heart is getting healthy by magnifying the Lord today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say this heart is getting healthy by magnifying the Lord today, by praising the Lord today, by energetically magnifying King of Kings and Lord of Lords simply because you choose to praise the Lord may all that is within you become perfect in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus I said simply because you choose to bless the name of the Lord may all that is within you become healthy become super healthy to the glory of the Most High God I make this declaration under the unction of the Holy Ghost even in Jesus mighty name that everything within you shall begin to lie at their rightful places in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ the womb shall begin to lie at their rightful places in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ everything produced from your inside is beginning to lie in their rightful places to the glory of the most holy name of God somebody join me in my Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For he is the King of Kings, deserving of our praise, deserving of our adoration, deserving of our honor on this 27th day of all of September in the year 2023. The Lord had been kind, the Lord had been gracious, and he alone deserved to be on it. My God, I thank you for the life of everyone, the sound of my voice today. I bless your name, O oh God. We are standing together, Lord and my God, even to declare to our souls and everything that is within us to bless your name forever and ever. Who are we that you are so mindful of us? This morning be magnified. This morning be exalted. This morning be lifted, O oh God. Thank you for the benefits of today. Blessed be your name for the benefits of today. My Lord and my God, you have made ways where there are no ways. And I believe so strongly. One of the benefits of today is that you are making ways, my God, where there is no way. One of the benefits of today, my Father, is that you are causing the lame to walk, the blind to see. My God, you are causing he who is down, Lord and my God, to be up. You are causing the disgrace of God to receive grace. Thank you, glorious God. God. Thank you, merciful Father. I honor you again, O Lord and my God, even for you have changed men's positions and dispositions. My God and King, you are the one that transforms men. This morning, by the raising of your benefits, lives are being transformed to the glory of your holy name. May the words of our mouths, may the meditations of our hearts rise up unto you as a sweet smelling savor. May they be pleasing to you, O oh God. I bless you for the life of Heka. I thank you for Caroline. I thank you for now. I bless your name, O oh Lord, and my God from Noblehood. I thank you, my God and King, even for yours. I honor you, Elaine, the Lord, and my son, Baha. Blessed be your name. Oh, thank you again. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. 
and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I can guarantee you today the benefits of God or the benefits that God gives to us is gravitating towards you by the reason of your thanksgiving, by the reason of your adoration, by the reason of your blessing of his holy name. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is shouting amen this morning. Oh, to God be the glory. It's a new day. Oh, so are we live on Facebook? Okay, so we're live on Facebook. I also I also just um, switched on my personal pay, Facebook Facebook page as well. So whichever way it is, we can actually get connected. Once you see it, connect with us. Connect with us on the Joy FM Facebook page. You have to be here because there is one. I'm going to lead us to pray. One prayer line. Very, very, very crucial. There is one prayer line. You need to pray this prayer together with me. You need to pray this prayer with me today. Thank you, Father. Wherever you are, the scripture says, the scripture says in um, 1 Kings chapter 3, 1 Kings chapter 3 in the verse 20, in you, And she arose at midnight and took my son <laughs> and took my son from beside me while thine handmaid slept and laid it in their bosom and laid a dead child in my bosom. <laughs> she arose in the midnight she arose in the midnight and took my child that is alive and laid it in her bosom and then laid her dead child in my bosom. Jesus Christ also tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 13. He says, an enemy has done this. <laughs> an enemy has done this. Sowing tears among your wheat. He said, "This is this is how our this is what our life is like on this earth. Somehow, when when, when men sleep, in the night when men slept, the enemy came to sow tears. The enemy came to sow tears among the the wheat." I don't know when I I try to catch some sleep around um, around 11 immediately I woke up this is what was banging on my heart that whilst you slept and I'm not talking about physical sleep alone I'm not talking about physical sleep alone I'm talking about sleep sleep is actually going going off from your focus you know going off from your focus sometimes just slight slight shift of the focus then the enemy comes to sow terrors my god my god the truth is that we are human beings and human beings are distracted now take it from me human beings we are distracted the things there are num amount of things or the number of things that distract us are many so when the Bible talks about in the night when men slept, it's not only talking about the night sleep. It's also talking about when we were not on ourselves or we are not aware of our environment. <laughs> when we're not aware of what's going on around us, then the enemy takes advantage to sow terrors. And so this morning, I want to pray one line prayer. Say, my father, 
<laughs> Every wicked or evil activity around my life, when I slept, may you overturn and return it back to where it came from. Is that a good prayer? <laughs> because I don't know, I don't know what terrors were sown when you were asleep. I don't know what terrors were sown when you were asleep. But anybody who plants a wheat or anybody who plants wheat was expecting to actually reap a very bountiful harvest of wheat. No terrors. You know what they call terrors in gang? Me, me. <laughs> me, me. It can choke, it can choke the wheat and cause it to be aborted. My God. Every wicked activity, every wicked evil agendas that that were perpetrated against your life, every area of your life, huh? every area of your life, whilst you slept, the emphasis whilst you slept, whilst your attention was taken away in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, let the Lord overturn it today. Let the Lord overturn it today and return it to where it came from in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take one moment to pray right now. Come on. Pray for three minutes. Come on. Join me right now. Pray for three minutes. Say, my Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this 27th day of September, I lift my voice unto you and I say, every evil activity, every evil machinations happening around my life, happening every area of my life, when I slept momentarily when my focus was off my God I pray that you shall overturn and return back to where it came from in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ my God come on lift up your voice and pray because I know that whatever it is God when you ask him he is more than than willing and ready. He is more than willing and able even to do for us what he alone can do in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, let any evil activity against any area of your life even be overturned now. Be overturned now. Be overturned now. Now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let any evil activity around every area of your life be overturned now. Around your marriage, be overturned now. Around your finances, be overturned now. Around your business, be overturned now. Around your family, be overturned now. Around your career, be overturned now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let every evil machinations that the enemy has sold around your life, around your children, be overturned now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ and may they be returned where they are coming from in Jesus mighty name. As I am led, I speak and I believe so strongly whatever the enemy sold around you using his agents have been rendered null and void in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> You shall never abort that baby this time around. I say you shall never abort that baby this time around. What baby had come into that womb of yours shall be put to bed in its own time. In Jesus' mighty name, there are many of us who have, who have aborted business ideas along the line after today. No business idea shall be aborted by you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the enemy meant for you to abort it before time, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. You shall live to show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may you be the light that people shall come to, because the Bible says that Gentiles shall come to thy light. May every good seed you have sown even live to be happy 
harvested by you. I say, may every good seed you have sown live to be harvested by you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. May your harvest be manifold on every side, I declare, in Jesus' mighty name. Can the believers shout a big amen this morning? I just love this. I just love this. You, you, know, you know something? The Spirit of God, the Spirit of God is, is, is so loving. It's so loving. He, 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 makes, he makes the job so, so easy. You, you, don't, you don't have to stress it. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I bless God for your life. You are now coming. God bless you so much. It's fast approaching five. I wish I can make some time for us to, you know, Sometimes we buy a prayer, no end to me. <laughs> you know, I don't know, but, but but I bless God for those of you who have actually stayed on for AOV because it means that you've been praying since 1 a.m. till you know, uh, till now. So I bless God. That is why I'm praying for double portion for you in Jesus' name on every side. Come on, you. Someone, s s s somebody, I, I need for you to make a, make a declaration. Without you, say by reason of the blood. Say by reason of the blood. I am exempt from any evil activity. You, 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 you better make a declaration. Say by reason of the blood. I am exempt from any evil activity today <laughs> you better make that declaration one more time say by reason of the blood i am exempt from any evil activity today in jesus name so shall it be hallelujah god bless you god bless you i love you so much i love you so much um uh, Wow, it's five o'clock already. <laughs> it's five o'clock already. I'm excited to um, sit in for my brother, Pastor Ato Aqua. You know, these brothers of mine, the things they do to me. But that's what makes me love them more. Because the thing is that. Me too, I'll use it to do to them, so. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This morning, by God's grace, we are blessed. We're blessed to have a great man of God to share the mind of God with us. We must be excited about it. He's a called prophet. When a prophet is coming to your home, back in the day, it was very scary. <laughs> back in the day, it was scary to have a visitation of the prophets. <laughs> I'm telling you. Today, today, that Yanyanu Fusano. Back in the day, it was scary <laughs> to have the visitation of the prophet. The moment you see them, you say, please, cometh thou peaceably. <laughs> I said, my you be an arm, my you be an <laughs> Oh, praise God. And so this morning, uh, we should be excited that the Lord has sent his messenger towards us. In your homes, wherever you find yourself. And I believe it's going to be a blessing to us this morning. Without much ado, I'm going to move over to welcome, welcome him. Now he is Apostle, Apostle Duke Duncan Kwesi Bruminda is in the studios this morning. Good morning to you, man of God. Great to see you. Great to have you. God bless you indeed for coming. Amen. I trust that you are fired up to be a blessing to us this morning. Please, please. Your audience. 
Thank you so much. One, welcome everyone. We are excited to be in the presence of the Lord. And you know, one of the greatest, in fact, the greatest thing God would ever do for anyone is to speak. Mm. When God speaks, that's when things happen. Mm. And one of the most grievous things to happen to anyone is for God to keep quiet. <laughs> but I thank God that we have a God who speaks and has never uh, been too keen in keeping quiet. And this morning, I know based on his track record that God will speak to you. And I want you to be prepared because your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Just speak in the language of the Spirit for the next five minutes. As we prepare our spirit man to hear of the Lord. Leko turibas ate leko ti parasati sa na hadisa dabaya mahadiko ti paras obete sekita rasabi atasa leko du barasante disete katuri basate porezi ataza abayente lekete li sotuba yatele sadayada zekato liva sabita ras omante seketele mantele speak in the language of the spirit leko bori basata sete levo robasata Le koti sata para zobata le kete le sodi barasa pele sete le kedea mante teli kodi faraba to le barasa mante le kede kazata ipele kuno manzapa ya de kasata ta belenti li bakada poya tele kata baya tele sata baye kete le kudu brasata la badia sata yente li kada robo sabi anta sede kata le kada. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Romanze Fadia Sadia Talaze Baraza Iketili Boros Omante Le Bori Kata Yada Yente Ligatuli Basa Tele Kuda Barasa Bayata Lift your voice, speak in the language of the spirit. Akende kuli barasa pitele kata. Leko bo reman se te kata rabasata. Leke tele karaba sompe tele kasata. Apa tele kapa yan tele katapa. Ase tele ke tele kantoli amparaba. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my daddy, man. Oh yeah 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 Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your prayer. I see the healing of the Lord. Ah, yes. Mende, I see migraine healed. I there's so much, there's so many things happening at the moment. And I want to trust the Holy Spirit. In fact, I trust the Holy Spirit. I want you to lay your hands wherever your your pain is, wherever the situation is, because as simple as it is, there is healing in this house. There is healing in this moment. There is healing in this atmosphere. Oh my daddy, but oh yeah, 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 Hallelujah, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much again. We will pray a prayer of pr uh, healing again. But as a prophetic voice, I need to deliver that which God wants us to hear. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said from the beginning, the greatest thing God would ever do for you is to speak. And can I tell you something that when it comes to your life, God has spoken. And he has spoken through his son, Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 1, the verse 1. He said, in the olden days, God spoke by the prophet, but now he has spoken. He is speaking through by his son, Jesus Christ. So the voice of God that you want to hear is actually an echo of the voice of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Once you get connected to the voice of Jesus, can I tell you something? Your problem that you needed the voice of God for will be addressed and solved. Mm -hmm. 
So let us seek and pursue and spend time and the investment to hear the voice of Jesus. And I want to tell you this morning, you will hear the voice of Jesus as you have already been hearing uh, before this section. Before this session. In the book of First Thessalonians chapter 1, the verse 9 to 10, there is something very important there that uh, the Holy Spirit wants to remind us of. Many people have forgotten. Many people have do not even know that some of these very key words, these key concepts that shapes your Christian outlook. These key concepts that shape our Christian outlook. And it is this outlook that God has given us to have the victory that he has assured us in Christ. And Paul spelled out this outlook to the people of Ephesians or to the people of Thessalonians. Mm. And this outlook is actually a theme that runs through the whole of scripture, especially from uh, uh, the, the proclamation of Jesus and his apostles right to this day. So I read, pick up your Bible, your phones, and turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, the verse 9 to 10. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you and how you turned from God or you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven who was raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. Let me read it again. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you and how you turned from God you turn to God from idols to serve a living and true God and to wait, that's the verse 20, and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath to come. Four things, four framework, four outlook can be seen in this particular portion of the letter that Paul wrote to the Ephesians. One, that these people who had become Christians, they had to turn the, the nature of their, their Christian identity or the, their past was the past of idols. And they had to turn. So the, that's the first point. They had to turn from the idols. In their unique situation, it was idolatry. And they had to turn from that. The next phase of their journey was this that they would now for af after they have turned now they will now dedicate themselves to service mm -hmm. service to the living and true god are we together mm -hmm. that concept of turning also captures is closely related to the concept of repentance hallelujah mm -hmm. turning service to god but in the midst of that service there is a mindset that the child of God is supposed to have or is expected by God to have and is a mindset of waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus. They were serving in the anticipation of the coming of the Lord Jesus. That anticipation or that urgency of his coming was not, that, was not missing from their thinking and outlook. Mm -hmm. They were serving and waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ. And the fourth point was, is that in their midst of waiting, they were aware that the future is a future filled with the expectation of the coming wrath of God. There is a wrath of God coming. This was the outlook that the people had. One, they, they, turned, from, they turned from idols to worshiping God or to God. And then in their relationship with God was a relationship of service. Can I tell you something? Can you be focused on your service to God? Mm -hmm. You ask me, Apostle, mm -hmm. what, 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 what is this service to God? How is it like? One word that describes, that helps us capture what it means to serve God is the word obedience. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to that word, you need to have the content to, be, to obey. What are you obeying? Am I to get, are we together? What are you obeying? That place of obedience is what the scriptures called service to God. 
And whilst you are serving in obedience, there is a mindset that will help you. There is a mindset that helps us, okay, in our journey. The mindset of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. We cannot forget. In fact, when it comes to issues of the Lord's coming, Jesus, one of the words of the many things that Jesus said with regard to his coming, one of the words that he used, in fact, this word captures the entire conversation of the Lord's coming, and it is the word watch. It is the word get ready. It is the word prepare. Hallelujah. And so these people, these Christians at the time, the early, uh, 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 our early uh, uh, ancestors, Christian ancestors, this was the mindset to which they lived out their Christian identity, to which they lived out their Christian commitment, to which they lived out their Christian confession, the agency of the Lord's coming, that they will not be caught up unawares of, on that day. And also the fourth point, is that there is a wrath coming. There is a wrath coming. There is a wrath coming. And Jesus has been revealed to be the one God has sanctioned. God has appointed to help people escape. You see the words he used there. He said, Jesus, who rescues us? Mm -hmm. the, the, the turning point with the wrath is that you'll be rescued. Because it is a future that is assured. The wrath of God is coming, my people. The wrath of God is coming. Beyond the life that we live, the challenges we face, the issues that some of, most of you are dealing with, all of us are confronted with in this life. Beyond all of that, there is a wrath that is assured for the entire human race, both, both now, both in the past and in the future. There is a wrath that is coming. And this awareness, okay, your awareness on the daily basis will shape your service because Jesus is the one who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. Let me go back a little bit to the first point to this journey, which is the turning from idols. Many of us, our struggles with regards to our experiencing the Christian covenant the christian as uh, 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 um, um, provision that god has given us is because we have not turned from some things it is not just turning from sin that uh, the idea of repentance is really about a change of mindset a change of course in regards to maybe your approach to life your approach to work your approach to relationship, your approach to even your your eating, your your nutrition, your approach to 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 to, to the to to the uh, issues, the dimensions, the sections of life, the cut your your the different aspects of your life, your approach to it, okay, must be a, an approach of repentance. What does that mean? Meaning that you change your mindset regarding the issue to God's mindset regarding that issue. That is the essential concept of repentance. So many times when we think about it, we think, oh, it just may be sin. It may not necessarily be just sin, but a way of doing things that is not of God. That is not the prescription of God. And so we are not getting the desired uh, uh, experience in that regard. So the turning is so crucial to our Christian outlook. We must turn for many things that we are doing. Turn even regarding prayer. Turn regarding fasting. Turn regarding the way we treat people. Turn regarding our, our approach to work. Turn regarding our service in church. And so many things. They turn from idols. And after they turn, they now dedicated themselves to service, obedience, God told Joshua, and I want you to read it. I want us to read it. Um, Joshua chapter 22. Let me read that scripture briefly. Joshua chapter 22, the verse 5. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Kabo iti levando prasa teke de sandi kle sandu ubarasa fitele. Joshua chapter 22, the verse 5. Take good care to observe the commandment and instruction that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you 
to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, and to hold fast to him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Take heed. He said, take good care. And he said, one of the things he said here, he says that to walk in all his ways. If your way is not working, the way you do things is not working, try God's own. Mm. Do it God's ways. Because God's ways has never failed. And you know, one of the things that, one of the ways of God is to speak. One of the reasons why that situation hasn't changed because you have kept quiet on it. And please, let me say this. When you are speaking concerning a particular situation, don't speak your emotions. Speak what God has said about that situation. Because it's only the voice of God that changes things. Hallelujah. God's ways. He says that to keep, walk in his ways. To serve him with all your heart. So the service is connected to what God desires. what How he wants things done. And that is where the obedience comes in. Hallelujah. Have you forgotten? Have you lost the consciousness of the coming of the Lord Jesus? It is one of the ways the enemy has access and maintains his activities in our lives. We cannot forget. It must shape everything we do. Because there is a wrath coming on the entire human race. And for us, we are waiting for Jesus because he is the one we know will rescue us. I want you to now begin to pray in the language of the Spirit. Speak in the language of the Spirit and tell the Lord, help me. Help me come back to this Christian outlook. After you believe in Jesus Christ, you have to keep turning. And if you are going to turn, it will come out of knowledge. Okay, these people turn from idols. Why? Because they had some message. They had the good news. And that information became the, 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 the content of their turning. They turned from idols because now they had new information that gave them a fresh perspective on what God desires. And so, let me begin to pray that, Lord, anything... Any struggle that I'm in, that is a result of ignorance. If that has influenced the way I'm doing things, let the veil be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, cause me to come back to the agency of the awareness of the Lord, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come back, help me to come back to this outlook of this Christian walk. We must not forget that Jesus is coming. We must not forget that there is a wrath that is coming. Pray now, pray now, pray now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Mongele fara musande kile sote. Zekeledo obrasa tele kuzava. Lift your voices. Kelendo abre sata. Whatever you have been trying to turn away from, that has become a struggle. Today, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you now. And that hold is being broken. That hold is broken. Whatever you are struggling, it is that which is impeding your progress. That which is uh, uh, you are wrestling with. But you are struggling to turn from it. Tonight, this morning, the power of the Holy Spirit is releasing you. The power of the Holy Spirit is releasing you. The Bible said he has delivered us from the dominion of darkness. And he has rescued us. He has, you know, he has transferred us to the kingdom of his son. Anything that is not the, an experience, a kingdom experience, but a demonic experience that has held you bound, that has held you uh, uh, hostage, Today is broken. Today is broken. Today is broken. Whatever you are struggling to turn from, turn away from, today in the name of Jesus, these people were worshipping idols. And we know that these idols are connected to spiritual entities. But somehow there was a power that helped them to turn. There was a power that broke them away from the influence of these idols. Whatever you are struggling to turn away from, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power of God that helped these people in Thessalonians to break away from idols. Let that power enter your home. Let that 
power enter wherever you are and I declare it's broken. Now you can turn. Now you can turn. Now you are turning. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whether it is sickness, whether it is poverty, whether it is a mindset, whether it's a particular behavior that is impeding your obedience to God, that is impeding your, your service to God in the name of Jesus is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken. The shout is broken, shout is broken, shout is broken. Say in the name of Jesus, say, Heavenly Father, let the power that helped the people in Thessalonica to break away from idols, let that power cause me to break away from that which is resisting my service to God. Mendi koriba sata, lezidi kariya matilia sata, le goriba santaya, lift your voice and pray. Mante kasata, le mende kariada, manse tele gatuli barazata, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, le mahatayata, some of you have grown numb to the agency of the coming of the Lord Jesus. Mm. We are here. We are in waiting period. There is something coming, my people. There is something coming. There is some, there is a, see, if we go in, if we begin to go into the scriptures that describe how the wrath of God looks like, <laughs> it's scary. It is coming. It is a schedule that cannot be changed. The only thing anyone can do is to be rescued from it. And the rescuer is Jesus Christ. We cannot forget we cannot forget. We cannot forget. You cannot forget. You cannot be, we cannot be so engrossed in our lives that we forget these things. Because somehow our forgetfulness imparts our effectiveness in the service. Mm. I stay in you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The consciousness of the agency the consciousness of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare Jesus who rescues us. The scripture said, Jesus who rescues us from the wrath to come. I declare your rescue is assured. Our rescue is assured. Our rescue is assured. Lift your voice and pray that prayer now. Lift your voices. Kalumini krasata. Zedeliko dibazata. Imbe ki di karaba satele boroba sata la fadi zedi la sata gia entele hazata la ventele ataya in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Karaba tese de fada. To God be the glory. Praise God. Praise God. That's prophetic. And of course, you know, when the prophets, prophets speak, he speaks the mind of God. He said, finally, he says that many have grown numb to the coming wrath of the Lord. In fact, it is part of when men sleep. <laughs> because guess what? Casting. This is exactly how the enemy wanted to feel. Lifting he said, when men shall say, but Oh, finally, peace, peace, peace. There's no problem. Nothing is happening. Then he shall come. <laughs> Casting when we shall say, Oh, nothing they happen. I don't know crawl kinds of and nothing has been happening. There is no coming anywhere. Then he shall come. My prayer is that when he comes, may he find you a faithful servant. It's only recently that we prayed along these lines, right? It's only recently. So it means that the Spirit of the Lord is saying something. Say, never delay. Say, God would avenge you speedily. Oh, by all means, God would attend to your needs. He would attend to the things that you so desire. But he says, nevertheless, when the Son of Man returns, shall he find faith on earth? Shall he find people who are faithfully serving him, living for his service, people who have turned away from our own ways of doing things? To serve the Lord. 
and having the mindset of his coming <laughs> waiting for his return may this encounter today prepare you for the coming of the Lord in the name of may this encounter today prepare your mind prepare your heart for the coming of the Lord turn you into a dedicated servant of the Most High God wherever you find yourself in that office on that bus on that WhatsApp platform among your friends among your loved ones in your family wherever you find yourself may this encounter today prepare you as a faithful servant of the living God may heaven recognize you as one in fact it is only people who are serving who are deserving of any reward oh I'll say that again for free it is only people who are recognized servants who are due any reward so if you're indeed looking for rewards from the Lord you need to be recognized as one of the people who are serving God bless you man of God it's been a wonderful hearing you um, I feel energized anytime you know I hear about service and service to the Lord I feel energized sometimes God bless you. God bless you, sir. Amen. 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 People, this is um, Joy Time and His Presence. Wednesday morning, 27th day of um, September in the year of our Lord, 2023. In case you're wondering who you just heard, his name is okay, so he goes by Tyler Hustle. Apostle Duke Duncan. Powerful. Duke Duncan Kwesi Bruminda. I was tempted to ask you, you know. Has your father been staying with all this Duke? <laughs> you are <a> Duke. <laughs> That's powerful. Uh, thank you, Bishop Mike and Apostle Duke, for the powerful word. I have been awakened. Praise God. I love the sound of that. These are powerful. Um, you know, like when you hear feedbacks like this, you know that message is gone um, a couple of people celebrating their birthdays as well. Uh, well we'll get to we'll get to wish all of them a happy birthday of course pray for you but there's something you heard and um, it has touched you in any way you want to share with us and the rest of the world please do that on our whatsapp platform 055 111 you may want to do that ahead of your birthday dedications uh, because I'll take that before the birthday dedication. God bless you too. share this song with you. And don't you forget that the reason God turns things around for you is so that you can be concentrated and dedicated yourself to Him. He's yeah. saying something. <laughs> Never 
Once again, thank you for coming. Um, I'm sure that somebody may want to get hold of you. I mean, after hearing the prophets, they don't want you to go like that. I don't know. Um, is there something coming up you want to share with us very quickly? For some people. Right. Uh, healing. Mm. Because there are a lot, I'll just make it general. So yes, please. Anyone that is believing the Lord for healing, I, I don't care whatever it is whatever diagnosis it is, just get water in mm. a few minutes, about one minute, just get water as we pray. You will be healed. In the name <laughs> of the Lord Jesus. Likri Sata. few points I want you to understand that healing is the will of God for your life. Sickness is not the will of God. Sickness is an oppression of the enemy. It's an oppression of the devil. That's why Jesus has been anointed with the Holy Spirit. To heal all those who have been oppressed. I love the way he used the word heal. So grab water, I pray. Father, even at this moment, and anyone who will listen to it later, I speak over this water. Holy Spirit, Kolema Avinde, brood over this water. Stir this water. That as your people drink it, let every sickness in their body be dried up you are healed in the name of the Lord oh Jesus <laughs> you are healed in the name of the Lord Jesus that operation is cancelled that operation that third operation one you've done one you've done two that third operation is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ you are healed you are healed oh, yeah. that mental problem that mental problem that they are calling depression is lifted in the name of jesus christ is lifted in the name you are healed 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 as you drink this water father i declare this is your will that through jesus healing you said when we go and declare your word, we should heal the sick. And therefore, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, according to your word, according to your will, healed. Your people are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Drink the water. Please, you are healed. In Jesus' name. Mahadolefa. I pray for anyone who is believing God for financial breakthrough. May the Lord favor you. And I want you to have open mind because it will come from the most unexpected places. Mm. Where you think that it will come from, it will mm. not come from there. Mm. So mm. open up, relax. It will come from the most unexpected of places. Hallelujah. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Apostle Duke Duncan Kwesi Bruminda. It's the one whose voice you heard this morning an amazing blessing to us god bless you man of god please help me pray for my wish and pray for my sister winifred atta sadia uh a midwife at kolibu okay their glorious birthday so happy happy birthday to you um oh jesus
glorious and blessed birthday to Inspector Samuel Edu Birchi. There'll be no me without you. It's one of my very favorite songs. It was done by Dietrich Harden. couple of your messages over here god bless you pastor mike and um, let's pull happy birthday to sergio ebenezer out there in toronto canada um, age gracefully with good health and more wealth from mother madeline madeline of kanishi presby uh mother to uh say mother to son in canada that's beautiful uh, good morning. So it says glorious, blessed birthday to Inspector Samuel Betchy. I think I got this one already. Okay, National Police uh, Headquarters. Legal and prosecution from Francisca. Much love to you and thank you for everything. Oh, Francisca has got stuff to thank God for. And you are part of them. By risk of the blood of Jesus, I and Tinakushi and my family are exempt from the activities of, I'm telling you, Charlie, from all the activities of the devil. I agree with you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, let me deal with this very quickly. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you, Mr. Eric Opari of Echo Bank, Ghana, from all members of Action Worship Center, Destiny Chapel, East Airport. Um, happy birthday to you, Mrs. Matilda Sapong of Ghana Immigration Service, from all members of Action Worship Center, Destiny Chapel, East Airport. Pastor, please say a prayer for me that I will not be broke financially <laughs> when my children are celebrate when I, my children are celebrating their birthdays. Please help me. I uh, wish my daughter Erica uh, Yayira Nuchigan happy happy birthday. Wow, that's a huge desire, and I pray for you in Jesus' name that no matter what happens, may the Lord settle you. May the Lord change this cyclical, wicked cyclical movement that happens in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, let the Lord put a smile on your face from this day forward. From this day forward, the day is now beginning. From this day forward, may the joy of the Lord well up in your spirit to the physical. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Prayer House um, Chapel International is inviting you to Overcomers Conference 2023. Um, the theme is Kingdom Exploits. Of course, uh, great men are going to be part of this program. Dr. Robert Ampiakofi is going to be there. Prophet uh, Yawano is also going to be there. Prophet Adongo Joseph is also there. And your host is Prophet Charles Enchiri Egan. Uh, everyone is invited. It's starting from the 1st through to the 8th of October 2023. Looking forward to seeing you over there. And of course, um, by God's grace of come Friday. The program is actually starting from tomorrow though. Is it from today or tomorrow? Apostle Kwetu. Destiny Altar Ministry is also inviting you to Holy Ghost Festival. Holy Ghost Festival, I'm sure by this time you must have heard. But the Holy Ghost Festival happens at Destiny Altar Ministries. Dumb. This uh, year's theme is the great outpouring. By God's grace, yours truly, I'm going to be there. Come Friday, it's going to be throughout, through the night. 
10 p.m. till 4 a.m. Uh, by God's grace, there is an apostle coming from Kenya. It's also Michael. <laughs> Our host um, is Reverend Samuel Ebokwetu, formerly of Graphic. He's still there. I don't know. First, my special greetings and blissful day to Mom, uh, Colonel Patience Owusu Edu, and Colonel Francis. Hey, Colonel Francis Scott Abba. Amachi, all of 37 Military Hospital, uh, always glued to joy. Uh, Pastor Mike, much love from your twins, Kanin and Kakra Danso of uh, Kaneshi Presby. Wow, okay. <laughs> all right, God bless you. People, I've got to go. Joy time in his presence as always brought to you by Amasha Partners and I Care. Amata Amasha Partners Limited and I Care. For your I Care challenges, look no further. Amasha Partners Limited and I Care has it all. Your eye deserves the best care and quality designer glasses. Amasha Partners and I Care undertake the following services supply of designer frames, uh, side testing, supply of lenses, sunglasses, contact lenses, ophthalmologists, and attendants, and general treatments. Located as La Opposite uh, Trade Fair, Spring Test Adjacent ICGC before Community 18 Junction, McCarthy Hill Opposite Bench Lodge, North Kanashi Swan Lake Opposite Green Hand Junction, um, Archmortar Second Floor Dinswa Plaza, Takradi Axim Road Opposite CBG Bank, Ho Opposite Housing Junction, Kumasi Airport Roundabout, and of course uh, Kolibu. Opposite ECG and Kofrodia Central Hospital Road and Tema Community One Meridian Plaza. Contact zero as contact is on 030-2939850. That is 030-2939850. That's Amasha Partners Limited. People, a wonderful time coming your way as usual. My name is Mike Niambose. I stood in for my brother, Pastor Ato Aqua. Who's hard to just uh, get out? <laughs> okay, he's getting out. He's trouble a little bit, and I had to step in for him. God willing, um, he'll be here next Saturday by God's grace. Rap Studio Realities is up next, and of course, after the Super Morning Show team joins you this morning, step step up wherever you are, and let God be glorified in your life. The Lord bless you. Rhapsody of reality oh, oh, oh. Mm. Welcome to today's Rhapsody reading, Wednesday 27th Incontrovertible Benefits of Fellowship 2 Corinthians 13, 14 The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. The incontrovertible benefits and blessings of fellowship with the Holy Spirit can't be overemphasized. The Holy Spirit wants to be involved with every part of your life, and you must let him. He wants your progress, advancement, prosperity, and success to be evident for all to see. Sometimes, a Christian might experience a period of remarkable growth and progress where things are moving swiftly and smoothly. However, there may be occasions when everything suddenly seems to stall. Despite attempting various strategies and ideas, nothing appears to change. Such scenarios often arise when one starts neglecting the ministry of the Holy Spirit in their personal lives. When the speed or rate of growth reduces or completely stalls, either in numerical growth, finances, or both, and it becomes evident that the previous approaches that worked for others and yourself are no longer yielding the same results. What should you do? The best thing to do if you want to come out of that situation and elevate your work to a higher level is to fast and pray with the understanding that you are initiating a change and transition within yourself. The focus of the fast, therefore, should not be about changing the situation as that is not the root problem. Rather, 
The key lies in strengthening your personal fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Fasting is a way of turning your spirit and mind away from the carnal things of this world in order to focus them on the spirit. You set your heart and mind on the word in steady meditation and prayer. Remember the objective of the prayer and fasting is to nurture and develop an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. By prioritizing this aspect of your life, you can expect to experience the desired changes and growth in other areas as well. Prayer. Dear Father, thank you for the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. My helper, counselor, teacher, advocate, comforter, strengthener, and standby, whom you send to lead and guide me through life in fulfilling my destiny in Christ. Through my fellowship with the Holy Spirit, I walk in victory today in Jesus' name. Amen. For further study, read John 14, 15 to 18 and John 16, 13 to 14. If you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, please repeat this after me. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of